So years ago, I made a video called the top reasons why you need to stop playing the lottery immediately right away. And it got a lot of traction, a lot of views. And still to this day, I'm shocked at how many views it gets even on a daily basis years later. So I want to kind of revisit that video, do it for you guys here. And it would be interesting to have my perspective now compared to back then. And you can compare the two. And a huge shout out to our longtime loyal subscriber Mo85 for the absolute best comment on this video. It's no secret that the lore of the lottery is powerful, especially when you see those huge numbers on the Powerball or Mega Millions jackpots hit even over the $1 billion marks. And those are actually becoming a lot more common nowadays. It seems like every time you go to the grocery store or the liquor store, you start seeing those big numbers and they could reach the hundreds of millions and yes, even top the three comma club. And it's definitely alluring, right? A lot of people are sucked into playing these lotteries and thinking that they can hit it big. But the fact is folks, is that you're gonna have to pony up a few bucks for a ticket while you're buying that coffee at the corner store. And a few days later, all your dreams could come true, they also could be crushed. And that line of thinking compels US consumers to spend more money on lottery tickets than books, movies, video games, sporting events, and music combined. It's a fact. In total, we spend more than $105 billion a year on a fantasy that likely will never occur. And for the tiny minority who end up do beating the odds, the dream sometimes becomes a nightmare. We're gonna talk about these reasons why you really have to stop playing the lottery. I wanna get your perspective and your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments section. We'll definitely talk about this, but let's get started and get right down to it, folks, because number one, the fact is, is that you're positively, absolutely not going to win. The odds of winning the Powerball grand prize are one in 292.2 million. And in fact, if you understand it correctly, some context for that hard to grasp number, it's almost certain that you won't die from a shark attack and the odds of that happening are much more reasonable, one in 3.7 million. So you have better odds of dying in that case or even being struck by an asteroid or lightning, which are one in 1.9 million. It seems like a virtual guarantee compared to with the lottery, right? And if any other situation had one in 300 million odds of success, it would be considered a lost cause. Another reason why you have to quit playing the lottery right now is because you're spending too much time smashing that like button. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. This helps with me, the YouTube algorithm, and ensures that even more people could see this video and reaches a broader audience. So thank you so much for supporting the channel. I greatly appreciate it. Let's talk about number two, and that is that it ruins lives and relationships. Time is just one of many publications to report on the so-called lottery curse. The sudden arrival of a massive cash windfall causes enormous upheaval in the life of the average person. Lottery players are likely thinking about the cars, the boats, the travel, and the freedom that a lucky ticket would bring, and maybe it would, but they're probably not thinking about the fact that should they actually win and they do strike big, virtually everyone they've ever known will see them as a wallet packaged in extraneous flesh for the rest of their lives. Jealousy, greed, and resentment are common side effects of winning the lottery tickets, along with many more, and they can lead to isolation, paranoia, divorce, and depression, and can even make the winner a target for violence while increasing the chances of suicide even. So that's just another reason why you have to quit today. And winning also paints a bullseye on your back. Let's talk about that number three. If you happen to win a big prize and you live in a state that requires public disclosure, even if you don't, but you're otherwise revealed as a winner, plan for a whole bunch of unwanted attention. You're suddenly going to be the world's biggest targets for scam artists, fraudsters, blackmailers, and people who file frivolous lawsuits for a living. You could be the target. Let's talk about that next reason why you have to stop playing the lottery today. Even if you win, you'll still probably lose because all big lottery winners have one thing in common. The likelihood that they'll declare bankruptcy within three to five years skyrockets in the second they cash that big ticket. Lottery winners are incredibly likely to blow it all, go broke, and even end up worse off than they were before they won. One of the biggest reasons is the sense of entitlement that friends and family tend to assume. Those hangers on also tend to see the prize as bottomless, bleeding the winner of money and causing emotional distress along the way. Let's talk about another reason. The advertising is intentionally misleading. 
state lotteries enjoy the luxury of being exempt from federal truth in advertising laws, which means advertisers can imply that with nothing more than a ticket, a dream, and some good vibes, winning is a real possibility. And they're also allowed to downplay the odds and risks, right? So if you watch these commercials, you ever see the ads for the lottery, or maybe you see billboards for it, it seems so simple, seems like an easy ticket to freedom, and that is what they're selling you on. Don't fall for that trap, do your own research, and do your due diligence. The fact is, is that it's not that simple. And also, folks, let's talk about another reason. It preys on the poor, because according to research by the Journal on Gambling Studies, the vast majority of tickets are sold to low-income consumers in poor neighborhoods. The poor spend much more on lottery tickets than the general population, even though they can least afford to throw their money away. Why is that? Because that's where lottery-related advertising is most heavily concentrated, and that's where the dream is sold most aggressively. If you go to Beverly Hills and you walk into a store there, or maybe you just look at some local advertising around the area, you're probably not going to see a lot of lottery ads. You're just not going to see it. But if you go into what one would call the ghetto or a not-so-good area, you're going to see a lot of advertising there, and they're going to be prom promoting the lottery heavily. And that's just the people who play. And folks, then let's talk about this reason. The poor lose even when they win. Because a hugely disproportionate number of lottery winners get state assistance. That means that they're buying lottery tickets with taxpayer-funded money that was supposed to help with necessities. States, states don't forbid this activity. In fact, they encourage it by advertising so heavily in places where residents tend to get public assistance. But in a final act of retribution against the poor, many states, such as New York, actually confiscate prizes from anyone who gets assistance in the rare cases that they do win. This is a fact. Look it up. So folks, it's not that simple. This is all a pipe dream and you don't want to fall down this rabbit hole. Here's another reason you have to quit playing the lottery immediately because the vast majority of profits don't benefit education. The feel-good story with the lottery is that even and when you lose, the kids win every time when you buy a ticket. The proceeds, after all, benefit public education, and that's what you're paying into. Fortunately, that's mostly fantasy. First of all, the lion's share of profits go to funding payouts, and another huge chunk is dumped into advertising. Generally, less than $1 in $3 goes to education. And even though that's still billions of dollars for schools, the numbers are deceiving. See, legislatures anticipate the lottery profits and simply substitute that money for traditional funding instead of actually supplementing it as the system was designed to do. So truthfully, not that much money is going into education and it's really breaking even. It's not actually a net positive. So unfortunately, you're not being as charitable and doing as much goodwill as you thought you were doing. And we have to talk about this reason. This is probably my number one reason why you have to quit playing the lottery in my book, and that's the fact that investing is a much better bet. Because if you won $17,657 hypothetically playing the lottery, you'd be pretty happy, right? Well, if you took the $220 that the average American adult spends on lottery tickets each year and invested that instead, that's what you would have after 30 years of $220 contributions, and that just presumes a 6% return. And it's not a $1 billion jackpot by any means, but relying on that compound interest instead of luck, you can actually generate a respectable windfall instead of praying for one. And it's much more guaranteed and it has a predictable history. So folks, and you have to understand that that 6% is really being conservative because historically speaking, the S&P 500 has returned much more than that. And obviously other asset classes could beat the lottery game and that 6% as well. So I'm curious, guys, what do you think of all of this? Do you still play lottery right now? Do you know someone that's addicted? Are you addicted to gambling? Let us know down in the comment section. I'm curious to hear. But these are just more reasons why you need to quit playing the lottery. And look, I was guilty of it myself for many, many years. And luckily, I did all this at a young age. So it's not like it necessarily affected my adult life. But I learned my lesson quickly. And I have not picked up a scratch off or have played the Mega Millions or the big Powerball jackpots in many, many years. So once in a while, here and there, maybe I'll bet on a Super Bowl, but otherwise 99.999% of my money goes into investments, whether that's back into business, whether that's into real estate, stocks, you name it. There's so much better options out there for you folks, better asset classes, and really you don't need that much money to invest in some of these asset classes, right? People play the lottery because it's a low barrier of entry. You could buy a one, two, three dollar ticket when they say, well, might as well do that if I can't afford hundreds or thousands or even tens of thousands of dollars to start a business or something like that. 
Well, folks, you could start buying fractional shares of stock. You could put money aside in a high yield savings account. You could just stack that money and save it instead of blowing it. There's options out there for you that have a lower barrier of entry. It may not be starting a franchise or buying real estate, but you can start small and start with those baby steps. Folks, I'm curious to hear what are your thoughts and opinions on this. Let us know down below in the comment section. It's always interesting to bring up this topic and it is definitely controversial. So folks, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got some value out of it. Make sure you go ahead and share it with a friend, get the word out, spread it on social media. Make sure you go ahead and smash the like button. I'd appreciate that. Make sure that you are subscribed with notifications turned on, ring that bell. If you wanna get some free stocks, all on me, all free, use the brokerage link down below in the description of this video. When you sign up with Robinhood, you'll get some free stocks, some valued to thousands of dollars. No, it doesn't cost you anything to sign up. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Take care for now.